much is this comet worth in nickels? It's still not alien, but Comet 3I Atlas is really strange. In fact, astronomers just discovered that it's leaving a trail of molten nickel as it approaches the sun. Now, you might be asking yourself, why nickel? Doesn't it take thousands of degrees to melt nickel? And isn't this thing like way out in outer space? We'll get to that. More importantly, how many five cent coins are flying off this thing? A team at Michigan State started measuring the rate of nickel emission, and they found that it was growing rapidly as the comet approached the sun. Now this graph is in logarithmic atom per second. So let's put it in terms that are a little bit more useful. How many nickels is Comet 3i Atlas producing per day? An American nickel is five grams, and it's actually mostly not nickel, but for our calculations, we'll pretend it is. When the team started measuring nickel emission back in early July, they found that it was producing about half a nickel every second, or $2,160 per day. By the time their observations had ended in late August, the comet was making $13,000 a day. If we make the admittedly not super great assumption that nickel production is linear, and taking into account the fact that the comet's closest approach to the sun is tomorrow, October 29th, we can do some very silly math and find out that Comet 3i Atlas will make $4.16 million worth of nickels on its total trajectory through the solar system. Okay, but why is nickel seemingly melting off of the face of a comet in the first place, especially when other metals like iron aren't? Astronomers are hypothesizing right now that the nickel is not in nickel, it is bound up in other simpler molecules, such as carbon dioxide that can break apart in cold temperatures. Besides $4 million worth of nickels, the big picture here is that this comet is from another solar system. And that solar system seems to be much weirder than our own, because chemically, how do you get nickel into carbon dioxide in the first place? Just another piece of evidence that helps us figure out how unique our solar system and the life in it is. That's all for today, but keep an eye out for my upcoming book, Cloudy with a Chance of Starships, different title, same book, out from Princeton University Press, summer 2026.